Hi ladies and welcome back. In today's video I'm just going to show you um, how I washed this particular always silk top wig, how I styled it, and different ways to put it on. So I'm going to show you with um, the wig grip, just the wig itself and the band inside, and with a little bit of got to be just at the middle. Um, so if you're interested in, first of all, all of lace wigs all look different. <clears throat> some of them don't have silk. Some will just be lace here. Um, some will have clips and combs and some will have a band. If yours doesn't have a band and you like to wear it um, without glue or wig grip, I would highly recommend you sewing your own band in. There are videos on YouTube showing you how you do that. I've never done it because where I get mine, they're already in there. Um, also, most of them have the adjustable nape area. So um, if you're you got your wig and it's a little bit bigger, you're gonna adjust it tighter. Adjust this one tight because I do have a peanut head. All right, and the first way I'm gonna show you how to wear it, of course, is gonna be with just nothing but the band. And then I'm gonna show you how to wear it with the wig grip. And then I'm gonna show you how to wear it with just a little bit of got to be. Just enough to hold that baby on there that way. Some people are like myself and can't wear the wig grip because it's uncomfortable or maybe they don't have a band in there. They just wanna put it on for quick, um, get out the door and go. Um, so let's do the first one. Adjust it tight. And then when you go to put it on, you are going to hold the band like right here and make sure you put the band at the back right here. Pull her down and get her fixed. <laughs> she is curly. I wanted to make her look curly cute. Get it adjusted, fix it. Now, because I tightened the adjustable nape area all the way down, it's down, I mean, it's fitting nicely. Let me look at my mirror. There's, it's a little flap because I'm like, so, but you could actually get away with this. I mean, there is, there's always going to be that little bit of, of give, in my opinion, if you don't glue them down. And I have it pretty forward, but if you see, it's on this tie as it can go. And it's still loose. That's why I prefer a little got to be. I mean, it cleans right off. And I don't think I could make this go any tighter. And this is a small, but it's on there. It's not going anywhere. I mean, I could actually go out like this if I wasn't worried about someone getting uber close and seeing that. I mean, it'd be fine. Okay, let's try it. First of all, let's just see how beautiful this is. I am gonna insert how I curled her, if you're interested in that. Um, let's show with just the wig grip. And when I wear it with just the wig grip back when I did, I would keep it loose in the back because if I tightened it and did the wig grip, it would be too tight. So, but you can see, I mean, it's pretty good like that, but it's a little flappy. It sits, but it flaps. I mean, at this point right now, if you just put just a tiny bit of got to be right there where your part shows, you'd be fine to go. Unless you're gonna wear it up and you need to glue more. All right, let's try it with just the wig grip and loosened. So anytime you're dealing with a velvet wig grip, you want to put the opposite side going up, so it needs to be where it will grab the wig. And if you have a silk top, it doesn't matter what color your wig grip is. Now, if you don't have the silk top, then you might want to get your skin tone wig grip so it looks like that through it. Okay. It's a little bit tighter. Now, when you're doing this, pull with the ear tabs because you don't want to pull on your lace. So go grab your ear tabs and lift and pull because that wig grip grabs it. I'm like out of breath. It's like, <sighs> it's tight. It's so tight. Like if you don't mind stuff tight, that's there. But again, it's on there. It's not going anywhere. That might be a little too far up. Got to slowly pull up. Be gentle with your lace. Still, almost better though. I mean, that's almost perfect. As long as you didn't move it. I mean, it's, so you need to go a little bit further than the lace. I mean, than the grip. I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, you might get away with that. Now, if 
I could handle a wig grip, I'd probably do that. But this is so tight right now, I can already feel like my head just feels like it's in a vice. It's tight. And it might be because I didn't... No, let's get back there. I just can't do all that tight pressure. But that works. So if you don't mind just a wig grip, I think this would be your solution with an all-lace wig. And again, if you don't have the silk right there, then you'd want to get a matching wig grip. That way it looks like your skin there or put some foundation there. It doesn't matter. All right. Now I'm going to show you how I do it with just got to be that we have no pressure on our head. You don't even have to tighten it if you don't want to. I'm going to put it on like we did with the band. And see, in this way, it's so much more comfortable, like for me. Like, if I had to wear one with a band, I just would never wear hair. I would just go around bald. Because I couldn't. I just couldn't do it. Alright. So, you want, I'm going to be looking in my little mirror. And so, the easiest, quickest little, I call it my five minute way. You're just going to need your uh, Q-tip. A little bit of alcohol. And your got to be. I've shown this many a time, but we're just going to do a quick little, I mean, we're doing a little section to, this is going to take you just a second. So, you know, you just want to get this right here, just that. Pull it where you'd wear it, clean the spot, and you're only cleaning about like, well, I don't know, not even an inch. Okay. On the other side where it's clean, get you a little bit of got to be, you don't need a lot, just put it. Right there where you cleaned. Just rub a little there because that's the only spot you need it. Now this is just for quick if you wear your hair down, you know, on the sides and you just need your part to be covered. Alrighty. Take your comb and push it down. Um, you're just going to need something just to press it down for um, a minute. I'm going to use just a wig grip. I find that they work really good. And just put a little, you just need it to stay down for a minute. And then that's it. Um, I, I do enjoy doing that little section just because it's, there's no pressure with, you know, wearing the wig grip under it and it's not tight. Some, I've heard that some do lay flatter, but I've never had one lay exactly flat to where I feel like, oh, you can't tell. I don't like when it flaps. I mean, if it's sitting there and I can just go boop and it flaps up. I'm not going to wear it out. No, around the house, that's fine. <laughs> but around the house, I'm going to wear my hat here. I'm not going to waste my wigs. All right, let's see if it's dry. It doesn't take that long, about a minute or two. Um, we didn't put a lot. And it's dry. And you see that fast. And that was about two minutes. And if you get a little, just take your spoolie and rub it if you get a little bit of glue on the hair. Now, you can wear it comfortably. It's not tight not going to come off and your little area right there is pushed down now of course over here it's still going to flap but if you're going to wear it back off your face of course I have other videos that show how to glue it all but this is just a quick way to wear it this way with nothing um it's super easy to clean off the lace my favorite way to clean it is just with water and my um wait makeup eraser <laughs> Uh, right now they're on black friday sale so i'll buy one get one free me and my daughter both have them and these are worth the money you'll never have to buy makeup wipes again or makeup remover they remove it one side removes the makeup one side um, buffs your skin um, and all i do is i take the uh, makeup removing side i put a little wick of water on it and i hold the lace in my hand and i just rub it and it rubs that got to be right off i've been using um, the makeup eraser on mine for about a year so that's the best way to do it um, you can also, if you get a lot of buildup, when you go to wash it, I'm going to show that, or I might have already shown it. You're going to, um, when you go to shampoo it, just kind of rub it with your fingers and that'll rub that off because the got to be is water soluble. Anyway, uh, this is wearing it like that. I mean, it's comfortable. I don't usually go blah and pull up the sides or anything. When I wear mine down, I usually just wear it like this. And when you want to take it off at night, you can take your, if you have microfiber towel or even one of these, wet it and just start rubbing the area where you put it and it pulls right up and then clean it off. No big deal. Easy to clean off. I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a like. 
Um, if you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll leave all the information and my contact info down below um, and have a great weekend.